Hey folks, James Brandon here. So today I'm going to show you a way that you can use a handheld GPS or really any GPX file and use that to geotag your photos inside of Lightroom. It's a pretty cool process and it's something that you do after you've taken the photo. So uh, there's other options if you have built-in GPS in your camera or if you have like a hot shoe mounted GPS unit like for Canon for example. Um, those will just automatically geotag your photos, so you wouldn't need this process. But if you don't have access to those, uh, like I don't, you have to use something else. And I really like this process, actually. I like it more than just geotagging your photos for a few reasons. But I'm using the Garmin Oregon 600. So this is just a handheld GPS, and what happens is I'll go out to a location, uh, like on this last trip to uh, Portland, and when I get to a location to start photographing, I just hit start on the GPS and it automatically just tracks every single step that you take. And it shows you like the distance that you've gone, the elevation gain, um, you know, all, all sorts of different things. And then when you get done, when you get back to your car, you just hit stop and then you can save the GPS log as, you know, call it like Gorton Creek or Columbia River Gorge or, or wh wherever you are. And then, um, you use that to sync it into Lightroom. So what's happening is you have your photos um, in Lightroom and they have a timestamp on them. So, you know, like for this photo right here, for example, you can go over here in library module and scroll down and see that it was taken on December 9th, 2015 at 1.38 uh, p.m. So what's happening is your GPS log just has a start and finish point with the track inside of it. So when you sync it up into Lightroom, it just takes the timestamp on your photo and syncs it up to whatever time is on your track on your GPS. And it takes the coordinates that you were at at that time on your GPS track um, and adds it to whatever timestamp is on your photo. So I hope that makes sense. Um, so what you have to do, obviously, is you have to make sure that your time is synced up. So, okay, I'm going to put this down. Uh, and we'll hop into Lightroom here. So here we are, we're in the library module, but what you wanna do for GPS is you wanna hop over into the map module. And the map module is where you can either sync your photos up to a GPX file, uh, or you can just view all of your geotagged photos, uh, or you can just manually geotag them. So if you have a photo down here and you, you can go up to the search bar, type in a place, and then drop a pin there for that photo. So it's pretty cool. Um, so how do we go about geotagging um, this whole set of photos? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to import the GPX file. So to do that, you're just going to go down to this little squiggly line right here, which is just, you know, like a symbol for terrain. And you pull it down and then you say load track log. So if your um, GPS is plugged in like it should be, or if you've just downloaded the GPX file to your desktop, you would just locate wherever it is. So I have my Garmin right here, and then you go inside of the Garmin, you would go to your GPX file, and then you'd find the track that you want to load in. So for this one, I just called it Gorton because I was um, at Gorton Creek for this part of the, of the log. So I would just highlight that and hit choose, and then as you can see, it'll automatically take me to Oregon, so before I was in California on the map, so it'll automatically just take you to the location that you need to be at. And here we are. So this is the track that I took inside of uh, Gorton Creek. And you can see I walked around for a good good bit, uh, zigzagged around a lot. So I was in there for, for a good while, probably, um, I don't know, an hour, maybe an hour and a half. So it was a really, really amazing time in there. Uh, got a lot of really good photos. So. We have the track now, but we don't have any pictures linked to that track. So what you would do from here is you would go back. Uh, first of all, we wanna link up or sync all of our photos. So to do that, we're gonna Command A to highlight them. Now, if you notice, if you're familiar with the area, um, you'll see that I have a lot of photos in here, you know, from uh, Lateral Falls, from Multnomah Falls, from Bridalvale. These aren't in Gorton Creek. They're, you know, in more of the proper Columbia River Gorge area. But that's fine. It's only going to pick up photos that were taken during this timestamp. So you'll see what I mean here. So if we go over here, these are all the photos that were taken, you know, in Gorton Creek. Okay, so 
Next thing we want to do is go back to the terrain symbol. And then if you if you're unsure of whether or not your your timestamps are synced up. And what I mean by that is that the time on your GPS and the time on your camera are the same. So where this could get confusing is if your uh, GPS unit was in central time and your camera was in mountain time or something like that, and you need to correct the timestamps. So if you need to do that, you would just go to set time zone offset. And then this will tell you right off the bat if you're in sync or not. So you can see here that the selected photos were all taken on December 9th and they were all taken between 1 and 6 p.m. The track log is December 9th between 3.39 and 5.22 p.m. So that's good. I don't have to worry about syncing everything up. And I should also mention that um, the Sony and the, um, the GPS were just in the same time zones, so they don't have to be synced up. So, you know, it, it gets confusing, but just go to this screen here and make sure that your track log and your photos sync up with, this, with the right time. And uh, from there, you would just either take the offset and go up or down, you know, like this. So we're just going to leave it right here at zero. Okay. From there, the next step is to go back again and then auto tag 179 selected photos. And then Lightroom will just crunch through that and then add them in. And that's as easy as it is, it's done. So now I have all of my images from Gorton Creek uh, tagged up. And then I would just go to another GPX log uh, if I was in a different location, for example. Um, you know, like, like Bridalville Falls, I would use that GPX file. And the reason I don't, you know, use one continuous one is because it does drain the battery on the GPS, uh, on the handheld GPS as well. If you're using it for like six, seven hours, you probably have to change your battery. So I just do it at each location and then sync them up separately. Um, with that said, what I can do now is just, you know, select one photo and then you'll see here that it gets highlighted. Um, or this one here, or this one here, and then if I go over here, it pops up here. And then you can see here that there's a number four on it, so I can just zoom in here, and then you know it'll kind of zoom out on the pictures that you've taken as well. Now, the only bummer about a location like this is that it's inside of a forest, so you know, you tell me that the, the Lightroom and the GPS file tells me that it was taken right here, and all I see is a bunch of trees, but I'll take it. You know, it looks pretty accurate to me. If you're somewhere else, like on a beach, and you see that it's a little bit off, then you can check your timestamp as well. Um, but that's basically it. So that's how you would geotag your photos uh, in Lightroom with a handheld GPS. And you can use anything for this. So there's apps on the iPhone that can do it as well if you don't want to go out and spend the money on a handheld unit. But I really, really highly suggest the handheld because it can save you in a in a situation where you get lost or something like that i've used it so many times uh, i've used it at death valley for example hiking like really really deep into the sand dunes to where you come back at night and it's dark and you don't know which direction to go to get back to the car and you just follow your path back and it takes you right back to the highway where you're where you park your car so um that's it guys uh, if you have any questions just let me know in the comments and i will uh, get back to you but that's it all right see you later